What's going on everyone, it's Kochi here, and uh, banner analysis time, but yeah, starting this off, we are not happy, dude. Seeing the damn news, and it was another limited banner, another limited banner, that is six limited banners in the row, in a row, and the only premium banner we had was the Fierce Battle one back in January. Uh, it's just ridiculous, Caleb, what... What are you doing? Like they're literally, they are just spamming. They are just spamming right now. Like someone banned them. Like this is against the rules. You stop spamming. No one likes spam. It, they're they are just spamming limited banner after limited banner, and it's ridiculous. Like they're, they're, it's just ru ruining like the banner situation in this game. Honestly, like the filler pool is completely just stale and stagnated. Like if we look here, this is the filler for this banner. Right, the only option they have now is to cycle in older units as filler because they can't keep using the same, you know, Heart Yoruichi, Tech Ginjo, Tech Yumichika, uh, Tech Shinji. Um, oh, what does this? Did I already say Tech Ginjo? Uh, what is it? Speed, Lost Agent Sajin, Mind Jushiro. Like they can't keep pumping out those same units again and again as filler. And all those units I listed, I have five out of five now. Over the past couple of months since the start of this year probably they've gone from like one or two out of five to five out of five because i pulled them so many times because they're always featured as filler in banners it's kind of ridiculous um so it seems like the only option they can do is really is like cycle out older units um you know the only like i guess plus with this banner or like the filler situation is like we have shinji uh, Kensei, Orihime, and Mayuri, and those are all uh, 20 DR links. So we have four 20 DR links for you know four different attributes. So I guess that's that's the only like positive I'm kind of drawing from this. Um, everything else is like whatever. Uh, personally, I have all these characters except Ishin. So I'm definitely not summoning. I'm not summoning on this banner. I think it's just this a huge huge waste. Honestly, if you like the characters and all, that's a completely different thing. But just from a perspective of uh, the state of this game, like just think every two weeks, there's something new that's limited to summon on. It is not healthy. It is not like feasible for any, unless you're like a major whale, it's not feasible to keep like go on on that trend. And I'm not a major whale, let me get that clear, right? I'm not like spending uh, big bucks like every day on this game, that's ridiculous. Um, you know my orbs will go down to zero as well and i would i wouldn't buy orbs to replenish that right i'm managing my orbs and my expenditures and our resources based on how many orbs we get each month and it's just not realistic to summon on a new seasonal or a new limited banner every two weeks like i i think we're not ever gonna get premium banners again like this it seems like that's what it is maybe we get two premium banners a year which is kind of like ridiculous to think about I don't know, I just can't imagine like a game where every banner you release is limited. It, it's, it's just crazy to me and it pisses me off because it's like, what? The state of this game is so whack. It's just going downhill. Like I just, that's how I feel. It just, it's going downhill. Like a couple years ago, uh, if you were like a free to play player, for example, just an average player playing this game, you had so much resources and so much like options with summoning because it wasn't every two weeks, you know, there was something exclusive to summon on, right? Now, it's just kind of ridiculous. You really need to consider skipping stuff like this because um, you just can't keep up. You don't have the resources to keep up with this kind of output that K-Lab is, you know, uh, putting out, really. And on top of that, we still have like these nine fillers, you know, um, less chance to pull the banner units and every two weeks it's something like this. So it's kind of crazy. Um, the volume of exclusive and limited stuff that's being pumped out in this game. Uh, and on top of that, like, I knew this was going to happen with this banner, by the way, because it was a brand, this is like a brand new seasonal, um, like, theme. There are no seasonal filler, of course, right? So the other seasonal banners, at least there was filler in them that was also seasonal. So it was, you know, a bit more incentive to pull because you can pull past year's characters and they're also exclusive and limited. Whereas this, like, I guarantee you, like a month or two from now, you're gonna see these same characters again. You know, they're gonna cycle in the same fillers and stuff like that. So there's nothing special about the fillers here. 
uh, unless you're really crazy about these units, I wouldn't recommend going too ham on this banner, honestly, because guess what? In two weeks, you're going to have something else. Uh, parasols or Thousand Blood War, who knows what it is. Oh, but anyway, I guess that's enough like ranting about this. I, I, I just can't believe... <laughs> I just can't believe Caleb is continuing to do this, and it seems like they have no intention to stop, so it's whatever. It left them... Uh, just run the game how they want, I guess. Uh, I don't think anything will really change. Um, like I wish, I, like in a in a perfect world, like I wish I could see like what would be their reaction or their response if literally no one summoned. Like I'm just thinking like hypothetically, like what how would a company respond if their entire player base just did not summon on a banner, just in protest, and you know what. Would they do in response to that like they're just their profits just has a sharp like drop like as soon as the banner comes out like no one summons and they're just like oh well we you know we fucked up i just i i just want to see like what would be the response that will never happen you know people will buy people spend orbs and things will keep going on as usual but it's just sad the state of the game to see how it's like in my opinion declining um this is just too crazy. Like, none of these characters seem special or unique anymore. Uh, when seasonal characters were like um, something you looked forward to, now it's just like every two weeks you get something new. So, I don't know, it's whatever. They've lost their charm for me. Um, like, even though I say that these characters do look, you know, visually and everything, they look cool. Uh, like, there's without a doubt, I think the designs and everything are nice, but. It, it's it's not really anything special anymore. We get them literally every two weeks. So anyway, on to the banner review. We will start with Yuruichi. So Yuruichi, um, she is a power unit, sorry per affiliation, sorry per killer. You can see her uh, here, her attack is 771. So she's gonna be a NAD unit, obviously. Normal attack damage, 20%. Um, you can look at her soul tree. So her skills, sprinter plus one, bruiser 20%, berserker 30. Flurry, Devastation 20, Debilitator, plus 5 seconds, Enhancer, and Poise. So, uh, Flurry Poise unit for Power Soul Reaper. Another Power Soul Reaper killer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. It's a, it's a NAD unit, I guess. Um, we can look at her attacks. So, she has Paralysis on everything, but uh, her second skill, which is her boost. So, en Enhanced Boost, 20 second boost, and Power uh, or uh, Flurry NAD, and with Poise as well. So it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, we can see her strong attacks here, so or her her attack data, I should say. So four hit nat string, third and fourth hit are AOE. Strong attack one is a lunge, 475 radius. Strong attack two, this is just like the standard boost radius, um, pretty normal there. And then strong attack three is just a uh, looks like standard full screen. So pretty, you know, basic kit, really nothing really out of the ordinary. You can see similarity. Um, so similar NAD strings, I guess, apparently to Rukia, we will look at her after this. Uh, Grimjow, this um, Machine Society, Ruruka, Kenpachi, and Can't Fear Your Own World, Halibel. Out of all these units, I only have Halibel, so I can only like, um, kind of use her as reference of what her NAD string is. And I think, I guess, Halibel's NAD string is okay. It's, but, you know, there's like more factors, like how her attack speed is and everything. It's not just like... I know how Halibel's is, so I know exactly how uh, this Yuruichi's is. She could be a lot faster, a lot slower, like, um, it remains to be seen, but I mean, it, I, I think it's fine, um, just based on this, or at least my knowledge on Halibel's nat string. SA1, lunge, so similar to these units, SA2, boosts, uh, you know, standard boost stuff. Oh, wait, similar to Shinji's SA1. Shinji's SA1 is the one where he walks forward. That's an interesting, but this is a similarity. So is she like moving forward in her boost? Like, I don't know. That's kind of sticks out to me. And then SA3 is just the full screen. So really nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, Yuroichi, she seems all right. Uh, Flurry Nad unit for power, you know, Soul Reaper. Is there any other similar characters? Not really. Uh, I mean, there there are a lot of other power, uh, well, not a lot, but at least as of recent, there are more that are you know worth talking about. 
since like here, I'd say, uh, you know, it's white Ichigo. He, he was like the best power soul reaper killer when he came out, then Byakuya, and then Nell was like, whatever. It's like, we have Byakuya already. Shinji's all right. Um, it's just, you know, I feel like they're kind of clashing. Byakuya and Shinji. I think Shinji, like, he's a fine unit, like, there's nothing wrong with him. I just, I wish he was in a different attribute still, you know, because there would be more diversity in that sense. But, uh, yeah, Nad, Power Story Per Killer with Flurry Poise and Enhanced Boost, Yurichi seems fine. Um, looking forward to see what her gameplay is like. And uh, I know that all the Yurichi fans are gonna go uh, down to zero trying to get her, so I, I wish you luck. But we will move on to the next character. And the next character we're going to look at is the Desert Society version of Rukia. So Rukia is a heart attribute character, sorry for affiliation, uh, and sorry for killer. And we can see your SP here is 794, so I think it's safe to say she's an SP unit. Soul trait, last ditch survival 100%. Uh, that's pretty crap, not looking good there. Uh, Soul tree, sprinter plus 2, bruiser 20%, berserker 20%, frenzy, devastation 40, debilitator plus 5 seconds. Strong attack recharge time to plus 12%, and mind link slot potions plus 5. Okay, so this definitely saved her, like, overall. Like, this, if she just had this as her trait, like, that is so... Uh, no thank you, Windows Defender. Like, if she just had this as her trait, I think that is just so garbage, but... Um, they gave her the recharge time in, in, in the form of a skill. Uh, what other character has that? I think... Uh, Kione and Centauro, the, the like, the, like the switch characters or whatever. Maybe there's another one, but I think that's the only one that comes to mind right now. Uh, and then here we go. Link Slot Potions plus five. So the second uh, Link Slot Potion character, I've seen a lot of complaints and even for myself when I'm doing co-op, when I just do my dailies, like I just, I just try to get like a, um, what is it called, like a fusion trial run in and then I'm done. But when I see the list of like rooms and everything that pops up, especially on like the days that um, power is up or active, right? Every single room is like Raruka or close, Raruka or I'll blacklist you, Raruka, you know, only Raruka, Raruka or, or you know, uh, I'll, uh, I'll end the room, I'll disconnect, right? No Raruka, no start. And it's just like, geez, the people it seem, have gotten like so cancerous over that. And, um, you know, I, it seems like this is going to be another uh, another character that's going to bring that sort of thing with co-op and everything. So I, I've seen a lot of people complain about it. Uh, personally, I've not, or at least I should say thankfully, I've not had to uh, deal with that. And that's not because I have Aruka, but I don't have her, but, you know, I've just not played any public inheritance zone and, and I would never honestly I just you got a group going on discord so unfortunately for anyone who is playing inheritance zone like that you just got to rely on like the randoms and everything uh yeah it, it seems like a rough time so good luck with that uh another link slot character so I guess that's like the incentive really to summon on this banner because this is pretty strong like it just cuts a lot of your farming time down um but yeah, overall, as a, as just like her base uh, skills and everything, seems pretty good. Like increased um, movement speed with the extra sprinter. She's got frenzy. She's got berserker. It was looking bad at first with this last ditch, but then she has um, the recharge built into her character. So seems all right so far. I like that she's a heart story per killer. I know we got um, we got another heart story per killer in Camp Fear on World Grimjow, but I think the last one was in January with. Uh, what is it? Fierce Battle Kenpachi. So, you know, Heart Soul Reaper was a like combination I was looking forward to actually because I'm kind of lacking in that at um, combination. But you know, I'm not summoning on this banner, so I guess it's a rip for me. Um, we'll look at her attack data here. So melee, uh, weaken on everything. You can already see she has a charge SA3 right there. So uh, four hit nad string. Third and fourth hit are AOE. Strong attack is a strong attack one is a lunge. Strong attack two is a cone shaped 800. That's pretty nice. And then strong attack three is a charge, so 700 to 900 AOE uh, distance. So maybe it's like in front of her. I'm guessing. That's usually what it means when it's distant. It's like everything that's in front. 
uh, it hits in front and away, so that's like what's classified as distance. Uh, but we can see with the similarity. So yeah, NAD string similar to all these units. Uh, SA1, these all these units have lunge SA1, so that's that's pretty nice, I guess. SA2, this is like a cone-shaped um, thing, so I know for a fact with Tech uh, Rukia, that's like my, because I don't have these three. I have Ginray, but I don't really use him. He's just a link on my Kenny, but I know uh, Rukia and hers is like that cone-shaped strong attack, so that's pretty good strong attack to have. And then SA3, the charge one, it seems to be like can't figure out with Grimjaw. I don't have him, but I've seen enough of him that, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I personally feel. I've never really used that kind of strong attack, the charge that's like in front of you instead of surrounding you. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I, I, I don't know what to say really about the charge, but overall, I think as a character, she seems all right. Um, like I said, her she has this, the recharge link based on her skill tree. She's got extra movement speed, frenzy, berserker, uh, weaken on everything, melee character, and all melee collision strong attacks, which seem pretty decent. So overall, Rukia looks uh, pretty good. I think if you're a Rukia fan, um, like it, you, you should be pretty satisfied seeing like a, a you know a, a fairly solid Rukia character being released. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> with that link slot skill. Uh, I have I don't have high hopes for what Inheritance Zone is going to become after that. But that's pretty much it for Rukia, and we'll move on to the last character. And the last character I want to look at is Ichigo. So Ichigo, uh, I may have not have said on my channel, but. Uh, I've always said like over discord and amongst friends that you know Ichigo. Yes, he's the main character He has a lot of variations and a lot of units in the game um, But he doesn't have any seasonal units, right? He other than the Halloween Ichigo like this is the second ever seasonal Ichigo So I always thought it was strange how he never got seasonals because I thought you know Especially for, like for white days like specifically I thought like Ichigo and uh, Renji especially those two units like I thought a white day Ichigo and a white day Renji, like that would make bank, like people would go crazy for that, but I don't know, we just never saw Ichigo, uh, and I guess more onto that, yeah, Renji as well. Another seasonal character, um, kind of going off topic here, but like Shinji, where Shinji doesn't have any seasonals, right? He just has like that four star, uh, that one four star version, but which I mean, I wouldn't even call that a seasonal <laughs> really, but. Uh, yeah, I guess, I don't know, it's, it's a bit strange, but yeah, I'm glad to see a seasonal Ichigo, but, you know, all things considered, uh, still not too happy with how the state of the game is, but, uh, here we are with Ichigo, let's look at his character, so Ichigo is a tech attribute character, uh, sorry for affiliation, obviously, he has 769 attacks, so he looks like to be a NAD unit, his killers are Ronkar killers, so tech Ronkar, tech Ronkar NAD units, um, does anything even like come to mind? Is that even like something? I don't know. I don't. I can't. I really can't think of anything. Tech Iran Carnad units. I don't know. No, I can't. I really can't think of anything. Um, Soul Tree. You can look here. Sprinter plus one. Bruiser twenty percent. Berserker thirty. Devastation twenty. Flurry. Debilitator plus two. And Medic. He's a healer. Uh, okay, uh, he doesn't have poise like Yoroichi, so... Tech Ronkar killer. Oh, and Soul Trait is damage taken as well. What the hell? That is so weird. Let's see, and he's a ranged character on top of that. Oh my god, I, I should have known actually. He has this damn staff, like, of course... He's a ranged character with a staff. That's like a ranged weapon, like, if you've played, like, any RPG... Right, you you, you, get, you pick a staff, you're like a sorcerer or something, you're casting spells from far away. That's a, that's a ranged type of class. So, uh, he's a ranged NAD character for a Ronkar too. The only thing that has, they, they only have ranged guard. It's the only guard they have. That's so weird. Um, burn on everything but his second, which is a heal. Uh, he has debilitator, yeah he does. Flurry but no poise. Man, he seems so weird. Anyway, we'll see. Let's look at his attack data. Uh, four hit string, each range uh, projectile hits multiple times. Strong attack one. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. 18% mag, dang. 
So he's got a shitty SA1. Uh, strong attack 2 is a heal, it's whatever. And then strong attack 3. Um, I actually like the strong attack 3, but... Yeah, I mean, he's not a, he's not a strong attacker. He, like, he's, a, he's a NAD character, right? Uh, we can pull out the similarity thing. So uh, NAD string is similar to these units. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like none of these units really have a really crazy NAD string to like speak about, to be honest. Like all these are frenzy characters too, right? So their NAD strings are kind of like irrelevant, I guess. Um, damn. And he's a he's a NAD character. So uh, Is Isane's NAD string seems all right from what I've used her in like Senkai mode and stuff for certain stages, but. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like anything too crazy with this Nat string there. Uh, similar SA1 to these characters, that SA1 is trash. Uh, SA2 is just the heal, it's like whatever, the same AoE, you know, uh, not really that relevant. And then SA3 is the um, mostly relatable with this character for me. It's like the attack, it attacks everything in front of them. It's like just a, it's almost like a, a full screen in front of you. It's like a larger cone shaped. Uh, strong attack than like uh, Thousand Blood or Toshiro's like SA2 for example, but uh, yeah Ichigo like here we go same uh, alternatives attribute affiliation killer oh I guess Yachiru Yachiru is the only uh, alternative like NAD unit for Tech um, Aronkar but yeah oh, man Ichigo seems so weird seasonal Ichigo Pog, but then you look at this and it's like, ugh, I don't know. Ichigo seems like the worst in the banner for me as of right now. But I think that's about it. I think that's all I need to talk about for these characters. Um, I think Yuruichi is fine. Yuruichi and Rukia are, like seem fairly solid and then Ichigo just seems kind of weird, uh, honestly. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this banner review. Uh, again, not really too looking forward to this, uh, that sounded weird, not really looking forward to this banner. Um, I still have, you know, my issues with what Caleb's doing and um, how they're handling this. I'm not going to summon on this because in two weeks, you know what, we're going to get something crazy. We're going to get another Parasol or we're going to get Thousand Blood War. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm dead serious. We're going to get something else. Like. Uh, so if you are low on orbs and you're trying to really manage, you know, just be careful on how much you're spending on You know these characters and stuff like that uh, If you are huge fans of these characters and you have reason to be because these are three popular characters You know, I wish you best of luck I hope you guys can get these characters in as little uh, orb spending as possible because um, the fillers here are really trash, you know, they have individual banners I recommend saving for the individuals if you're only going for specific ones, but that's pretty much it for this video So I hope you guys enjoyed um, You know Let me know what you think of these units and what Caleb is doing and what are your thoughts on the whole matter, but Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to join the discord link is in the description as always I hope you guys um, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later